Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Hello everyone. We have a source with Newsweek.com. I can't recall if we've ever used them as a source, but we are going to fill in our election map based on this Newsweek poll that they conducted. I'm going to tell y'all that if my voice sounds um, higher pitch or like I'm Granny Gertrude from the Beverly Hillbillies, it's because I got a sore throat right now. I'm very, very sorry. Y'all come back now, you heard. Make sure you subscribe. It says on YouTube Analytics that over 80% of our viewers aren't subscribed. If you want to be part of that group to make history and get us to 2,000 subscribers, make sure you subscribe right now for my sore throat. Let's fill in that beautiful election map according to Newsweek.com. Who is winning the election? Kamala Harris or Donald Trump polls? Ten days ahead of the election almost. All right, Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, not Udaho, is red for Donald J. Trump with its four electoral votes. Utah with six electoral votes and the Mormon vote is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to Newsweek.com, and I just lost my web link because it started to reset, so hang on one second. Let me pull up the Newsweek.com article to find out who they have winning Nevada as of right now. It says... We've got Georgia, we've got Arizona, here we go. According to Newsweek.com, Insider Advantage, they have over 800 people they conducted the polls on and the questions that Harrison Trump tied 48% each and had a 3.52 margin of error. However, a morning consult poll for Bloomberg also found Harrison Trump were both on 48% in a straight fight. Though without a third-party candidate, the Democrat had one-point lead with 49% against 48%. The survey of 420 likely voters had a five-point margin of error. Oh, my God. So we'll just put, as of right now, Nevada is blue for Kamala Harris, according to Bloom Tur Bloomberg. Sorry about that, Bloom Turd. All right, Arizona. According to Newsweek.com, Arizona, a Maurice College poll of 1,193 likely voters conducted over October 17 to 22nd put Trump ahead with 50% of the vote against Kamala's 49% and 1% for third party, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump, according to Newsweek.com. All right, we got Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris, making Nebraska at large plus two red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Y'all better be subscribing for this damn voice. It's killing me. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Timothy Walls, bloated Biden, a.k.a. Kamala Harris. Now we got Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Fuck this phone. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, according to Newsweek.com, we have Wisconsin. Wisconsin has 10 electoral votes. Let's see what Newsweek.com has Wisconsin as. Got Michigan, Wisconsin. Emerson College of 800 likely voters in Wisconsin for real clear world gave Trump a one-point lead with 50% of the vote against 49% for Kamala Harris, and the others were third-party probably RFK Jr. because he can't seem to get the Democrats to get him off the ballot in any of the battleground states. It's bullshit. He don't want to be on the ballot, and you only have him on the ballot so, he can, so Kamala Harris can beat Trump. That's the only reason why. Shame on you, you Democrats. Shame on you. 
So Donald J. Trump is winning Wisconsin according to Newsweek.com. That's the only reason why they won't listen to RFK Jr. and take him off the ballot in Wisconsin and Michigan because they know that if people don't know he's endorsing Trump, they're going to vote for him and take votes away from Trump. So we got Michigan, which is according to Newsweek.com. This is not fair because he don't want to be on the ballot no more. Newsweek.com has for Michigan and its 15 electoral votes in a poll conducted by 1,316 likely voters in Michigan were polled by Quinnipiac University, with the survey putting Harris on a 50% of the vote compared to 46 for Trump, with an overall lead of four points. The survey had a 2.9 point margin of error. So that makes Michigan blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. You all better be subscribing. If you haven't had that subscribe button halfway through the video, you better subscribe because my voice is inflamed right now and it's getting worse as the video goes on. So thank you all. Uh, we have West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. We also have Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, sweet home Alabama, cousin lover state with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. We have Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we got Georgia. I just had a second ago and I just lost Georgia, but we need Georgia right now on Newsweek.com. Georgia. A Marist College survey of 1,193 likely voters had Harrison Trump tied with 49% of the vote each. It took place between October 17th and 22nd with a 3.9 margin of error. Morning Consult polled 855 likely Georgia voters for Bloomberg over October 16th to 20 in a straight contest that gave Trump a two-point lead with 50% of the vote against 48% of the vote for Harris with a three-point margin of error, which possibly means that she could win it by one point if you do the math correctly, but according to them, in Bloomberg and uh, Newsweek.com, Trump has around a one to two point lead in Georgia, giving him Georgia and making it red for Donald J. Trump in the 16 electoral votes. So that means South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, we have Trump leads Harris by two points in North Carolina with a 50% of the vote against her and 48% that Harris has, according to Emerson College poll of 950 likely voters. That makes North Carolina. Red for Donald J. Trump. Yeehaw. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Now we got Pennsylvania. That's right, Pennsylvania, the big state that both candidates need to win in order to win the election. Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, a poll of 860 likely voters conducted by Emerson College for Real Clear Pennsylvania gave Trump a two-point lead with 51% of the vote against 49% of Kamala Harris. The poll had a 3.3 margin of error. That means that there's a possibility that Kamala Harris could win by 0.3, but that gives Pennsylvania the win for Donald J. Trump making it red. New York with 28 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. And we got Maine, M-E, the whole state is red for Donald J. Trump with the first district of Maine being blue for Kamala Harris, making Maine at large blue for Kamala Harris. We got New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala, Kamala Harris, and Timothy bloated Biden walls. This gives, according to Newsweek.com's poll, Kamala Harris has 247 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 291, making Donald J. Trump the big winner of the 2024 United States presidential election. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed my compassion and my work to try and get this map done with a sore throat that's getting worse by the minute, as you can tell, please make sure you hit that like, that share, and especially that subscribe button to make history by getting us to 2,000 subscribers. And if you want to take us beyond 2,000 to make history, get us to 10,000 subscribers if you're a first time watcher. We would certainly appreciate it. As always, I'm your everlasting presidential Godly Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Sword throat.